Hello friends and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Let's sing our good morning song together. Stretch your arms out like airplane wings. We'll fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle. Big stretch out in front. Now take that circle up over your head and let's stretch on one side over to the other side. One last stretch and bring the circle back down and let's sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. Before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, we have to do three things quickly. Number one, let's turn on our listening ears. Next, we have to put on our thinking hats. Today, my thinking hat has some snaps underneath my chin. So I'm going to snap, snap, snap them up. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. And now it's time to get started. Let me grab my pointing stick and let's go over the date together. Right up here, we have the month. Do you know what the month is? October. Today is October 8th. So I'm going to move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was October 7th, and today is October 8th. October 8th, and the year is 2021, but you can also say 2021. I wonder how many days we've had so far in the month of October. Let's take out our counting fingers. We'll warm them up to give them a little stretch. Will you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've had eight days so far in the month of October. So if you keep up your eight fingers like this, but you put one finger away, now you're left with seven fingers and we're ready to sing the day of the week song. If you know the words, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have the days of the week to go over. So listen for the sound that the day starts with. This says that yesterday was Thursday. That means that today is f Friday, the last day of the weekday. And tomorrow will be s Saturday, the first day of the weekend. Let's go back and sing Today is Friday together. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. Up at the top of the chart, we have the season. What's the season, friends? Fall. You can also say autumn. We've been talking all about the fall and autumn for the past two weeks, and today we are going to wrap up our discussion. But first, Let's go down and sing the weather song together. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So the rain is still falling where I live today. Another rainy day and my temperature chart is still between light blue and orange. It's a little bit chilly in the morning time, 
but it warms up later in the afternoon. Hopefully, now that it's almost the weekend, the sun will come out because we have had so much rain over the past week. What about you, friends? What do you see outside of your window today? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Because today is Friday, it will be the last day talking about this capital letter. What sound does this letter make? W. And what is this letter called? W. This is an uppercase W. W says W. I wonder what we'll find inside of the letter box today. I know I have a picture of something that starts with the letter W. W. I'll give you a few clues, and if you think you know what it is, you can take a guess. Here's your first clue. This is a picture of a type of an invertebrate. This invertebrate lives under the ground. It doesn't have any legs, so it uses its long, squiggly body to move around, kind of like a snake. What could it be? Let's take a look. This is a worm. So worm is a type of an invertebrate. It lives under the ground, but it doesn't have any legs. So instead it moves or crawls using its squiggly body. Worm starts with the letter W. W. This is how you write an uppercase W. W. One more time. Here's the number of the week. Do you remember what double digit number this is? 19, that's right. When you write the number 19, you have to write two numbers. First you write the number one, and then you write the number nine. One, nine. 19. Let's count the number 19 together using the large bead frame. This is how you count to the number 19 using the large bead frame. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 110, nine units, 19. Let's take a peek inside of the number box and see what we have to count today. Because today is Friday, I have some acorn tops. And as I count them, I'll line them up across the top of the box in two rows so that we can count together. Are you ready? One, two, three. These two are connected. Four and five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, and one more makes 19. 19 acorn tops. We've gone over the letter of the week and the number of the week, so now let's move on to the sign of the week. Remember friends, sign language is a language that uses hand gestures and facial expressions to communicate instead of speaking words out loud. And this week, we learned how to say pumpkin in sign language. Will you show me how? Let's do that together. Pumpkin. For the past two weeks, we've been talking a lot about what happens when the season changes from summer to autumn. There have been many discussions about leaves changing color and falling to the ground once they stop making chlorophyll. 
These are called deciduous trees, and they look like this. I have an oak leaf and a maple leaf. But not all trees change color and lose their leaves. In fact, some trees don't even have leaves. Instead, they have needles like this. This branch is from an evergreen tree, and these trees keep their green needles all year long, even in the winter time. Let's check out today's work. For today's work, you are going to need some pipe cleaners cut into various sizes, some clay or Play-Doh, and some pony beads, because today we are going to be making trees out of pipe cleaners and then decorate them with colorful pony beads to represent the fall leaves. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to take one of the longer pipe cleaners that I have and I'm going to just lay it down. This is going to be the trunk of the tree and then I'm going to take the smaller pipe cleaners and just twist them on to the trunk to represent the branches coming off of the tree like this. Maybe I'll take another pipe cleaner and add another branch towards the top like that. And then I have this small piece of clay right here and I'm just going to stick the bottom of the trunk of the tree into the clay so that I can have the tree stand upright like this. So the tree is standing upright. And the last thing that I'm going to do, once I have my tree all set up and standing upright like this, is to take the colorful pony beads and start decorating the branches on the tree because it's not winter time yet. The trees are still full of colorful leaves. And you can see once I add the leaves or the pony beads, the branches start to get a little bit heavy and the trunk of the tree and they start to tip to one side, all you gotta do is straighten it up like this and you can continue to add the colorful fall leaves. And there we go. The leaves on our tree are no longer bare because it's still autumn. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a big thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Remember that I'm now offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions as well as curriculum consultations, so please feel free to reach out for any information. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. So let's wave goodbye like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Join me next week as we begin a new unit on geography. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you all on Monday.